You guys say you're living the dream right now? So you asking the wet one or the... <laughs> or the <laughs> With the cost of living in Singapore skyrocketing and inflation wrecking our savings, many have decided to leave the Lion City in search for better opportunities abroad. So that's why I'm here in Dubai to talk with some Singaporeans to find out why they decided to move and their experiences living in Dubai so far. Yeah, your occupation? Currently working in a design consultancy firm as a project director as well as an operations director. I'm a sous chef at Goldfish Restaurant. I'm doing event entertainment rigging. When do you move to Dubai? 2016. 2021. End of January. The 1st of August. Why did you move to Dubai? A uh, headhunter happened to approach me. I was uh, handpicked from Singapore. I'm just following wherever I'm going. I got a job opportunity, which I really wanted. I've heard that Dubai is an expensive place to live in. Is that true? Yes and no. And it depends on the way you live. Same like in Singapore. How much you earn is how much you spend. Compare rent, for instance. Uh, rent is usually quite high. Uh, because of the rise of like rental prices in Singapore, it's probably like comparable right now. Uh, but when you compare things like cars, there's a lot cheaper over here in Dubai, uh, especially with the oil prices. To compare, uh, Dubai actually is not that expensive. Luxury life, yes. Like TikTok, Instagram, where people start to flex their cars, their hotel. But actually, no. There's some parts of Dubai, they really uh, live normally. It's just that it's not seen yet in the internet. So what are some of the benefits of being an expat here in Dubai? I got like... Housing allowance, food allowance, uh, bills, uh, transport allowance, on top of what I'm getting. Because I negotiated my contract for just cash. I pocket everything. I handle my finances on my own. Uh, so there's literally zero benefits. Do you think Singaporeans should try working overseas? I definitely encourage Singaporeans to work overseas. There is a certain level of both entitlement as well as privilege that we get out of just being simply being Singaporean. It prevents us from challenging ourselves and going out there to see the world. Yes, because uh, like how back in Singapore, we have people from abroad coming to our country and working there, living there. We should also try to go abroad and live, try to live overseas and see how other countries work. Yes. Yes, if you got the chance or if you plan to go overseas, please do so. Open up yourself to understand people more and to understand the world. And obviously, when you're already an expert, you get the benefits. Don't wait because chance will never wait for you. And it only knocks once.